editors. How are you doing, guys? Hi, good talk. Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. First band ever to ask me how I'm doing. That's nice. Very, thank you very much. I'm quite good, actually. Yes. Not too tired yet. I didn't have a too hard summit up till now. Okay. I did a few openers, but uh, right now it's quite okay. <laughs> how many openers did you do to that one? Uh, how many festivals have we done? Uh, we've done about 30 so far this summer. I've done about six or seven, and I'm like really kind of feel good, fucked up, tired. And I'm just a guy that hangs around all the time, waiting to do the next interview. So where do you get the power from to do shows all the time, every day? Uh, where do you get your power from? I get my power from sleep when I can and uh, uh, coffee. Yeah, um, we just measure the partying. There's, uh, there's party time that's uh, it's limited. All right. You know? So and then, you know, if you do it within that time, you're usually all right. And if you don't do it within that time, you just fucked up. <laughs> bad show. Well, we don't hope to have a bad show today from you guys later. Now, uh, if you like compare the English festival culture with the Swiss festival culture, uh, you're on stage watching the people out there. Can you spot any differences? Uh, well, I mean, before we get to the peak, obviously the location in most Swiss festivals is a lot more beautiful than those in the UK. Oh, really? Okay. I would say better than Reading Festival. Oh, next that's week. A, that's big. <laughs> that, uh, what about Glastonbury? I mean, Glastonbury's beautiful in a different way. Yeah, Glastonbury's very unique. Uh, that's, a pretty, that's a pretty festival. The big open hills. Yeah, that, that's like rolling and uh, yeah, and kind of old English. And this is like imposing and uh, big mountains, yeah. aren't you? Like, yeah. This is this is. But impressive. the bad thing about the place here is that now the sun is shining and it's really really nice. But in about an hour, it will be about like, I guess eight o'clock, and the sun's gone. Although you don't have much sun in England anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the people, they are the same. It doesn't matter where you are, people are the same. I, I think each uh, nation is slightly different and has their, their quirks, but, um, you know, the, a lot of people are the same in the world. Well, how would you, like, describe the typical Swiss person, if you can, of course? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't know that many Swiss people. I only, right. I only know about three, I think, so I can't, I can't really judge them. Do you know, like, who do you mean stars, or do you mean, like, general people? Just general people. All right. Yeah, but, but, I mean, three is quite a lot. I mean, I, I wouldn't know any people that live in, in England that are from Switzerland, so yeah. I'm not even that bad. Do you notice a difference from the French-speaking festivals to the German-speaking audiences? Uh, let me think. Are you interviewing me now, right? Yeah. Okay, let me think. Um, I think that the French, the Swiss French, are different than the German, the Swiss German, because they're, like, more relaxed. The Swiss German are like Germans, like, now, right there, what time is it? Got to go there, got to do this, got to do that. And the Swiss French are more like the French. It's relaxed, hey, take it easy. I know you're waiting at the bar for like an hour, but I'm going to come to you later on. Just take your time. You said your uh, album out on the 28th of June, uh, called, I've got to read it, sorry, The Weight of Your Love. What was the critical acclaim, if one may say? Um, I mean, with all of our records, some people like it and some people don't. So we always get quite mixed and uh, we like it. And um, and uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. We we always get very mixed reviews. We can All pick right. up we can pick up a broadsheet and get four out of five, and we can pick up you know a very similar broadsheet the next day and get zero out All of right. five. So. But what about people around you? Uh, it family? went to number four in Switzerland, which is our highest chart yeah, placing right. here. So that's a good sign. People seem to like it. People like it in Switzerland. What do the people around you that are close to you think about the album then? Yeah, well, we, we take their uh, judgment on. So, like our management and label, and, you know. Yeah, but what's your mum think? Oh, what's my mum? Oh, she likes it a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She yeah. Has to say, but she's your mum, she has to say she likes it. Although, yeah. mums are actually even really direct sometimes. So, yeah, yeah. she could even say differently. What about kids? Uh, yeah, yeah well. by how young they are. They yeah. Got like a my, yeah, my boy's feedback. five, so he's, it's the first record of his that he's like. You know, singing along and singing things back to me, and he's singing our new single at the moment, which is always a good sign. So he likes it. Yeah. But what else is he listen to uh, except than your music? What would you really, like play for him? He really likes the Muppet soundtrack, uh, and I tried to play him REM in the car, like Shiny Happy People and uh, things like that. And it's the end of the world as we know it. He loves that song. All right. Uh, but, he, but also, if you did play him Gangnam Style, he'd probably like that too. Also grundsätzlich ein Fünfjähriger mag eigentlich grundsätzlich alles, egal was, ob es jetzt R.E.M. ist oder Psy mit uh, Gangnam Style. Now, The Weight of Your Love. <laughs> Sorry, I just said it really strange right now. The Weight of Your Love, uh, if you look at the title, you can look at it positive or negative. I mean, The Weight can be something bad or something good. 
What is it? Bad or good? <laughs> it's, across the record, it's a bit of both. All right. I think some of the songs are like about the destructive side of love and relationships, and some of the songs are like a bit more, you know, I guess straightforward sentiment of a love song. Uh, so the weight of your love seemed to kind of, like you say, kind of sum up both things. When you write your uh, songs, then what, is it like you thinking about you and your wife and your kids, or do you like just take stories from wherever you just can think about them? Uh, uh, some of them come, you know, some of them are, are more personal than others, but a lot of them I do let my imagination kind of take over and okay. um, yeah invent scenarios and people and but it comes from somewhere and then I just get carried away with myself. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you on stage later on. Now I've got to ask, uh, you had uh, some back, I, I forgot the word here, <laughs> last summer, last April 2012, your um, guitar player left the band and then you were just in the middle of producing an album. Now. What's like the first thought? What's was uh, first thought? Well, first thought. I know what's uh, later on, but the first thought. Well, there was a, there was a long time leading up to that point, so it was um, it was a decision we made, and um, once that was made, we just wanted to get on with it because uh, the world of editors changed. So, to know it was it was kind of more positive straight away. Obviously, sad at the, on you know around that time, but yeah. But you still see your friend then, Chris? Uh, no, not at all. No. Okay. We've got a new guitarist now in the band. We do. And that's good. It's good for us, yeah. It's yeah. good for you. Yeah. Um, we have another member, we have five of us on stage now. Now, so yeah, that's yeah. true. And there was it a guy that you knew from before already, or did you just like meet him some kind of past years and then said, we want you as our new guitar player we in our yeah. band? He came recommended to us from a producer that we worked with on our third record called Flood. Uh, and Elliot, whereas Elliot is someone that we did know and we toured with and was a friend. So, um, yeah, there you go. There you go, and you can call him a friend now, not just a guitar player, but he's a real friend. Well, yeah, we'd, we'd, you know, this is the first summer that we've been out touring together properly and spending more time together, so we're more of a band now and, yeah, friends, as you say, than, than we've ever been. So, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. That's a positive uh, ending for this interview, I guess. That you, it did, doesn't matter who goes, who comes, whatever happens to the band, you can always change it to the good with people joining and coming you and becoming new friends. Now, I've got to be honest with you, um, I've never seen you live yet. What do I expect? <laughs> Why do I really have to go and look to editors? Oh, it'll change your life. It changed my life. It changed uh, life. Changed